You look like you're ready for action. Mrs. what are we doing and where are we going? Hunting. Hunting where? There. What are we hunting? Whatever in there. Whatever in there. Excellent. Let's get busy. Here we are. We're at the infamous quicksand pond. And Toon's already in. So, we're going to take the water down from in here. Now, we haven't got a tok tok anymore. And uh, we can't run the solar. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Big mudfish down there. Wow. Should jump after, innit? Uh, so, we're going to use what we've nicknamed uh, STP, Super Tomb Power. She said this is how they used to do it in the old days. And uh, she's building a dam, then we're going to throw the water over it. But we're not going to use uh, throw all the water in here. Water some of the palms that we've got quite close to here. Don't want to waste too much water. First dam complete. Tune's just doing another one that side. Then we're going to start both bailing it out. Uh, I've just gone and done uh, a palm tree, went off to do the second one, giant wasp nest. So they're really hard to see in all this dry, long grass at the moment. I really don't want to get stung today and then be working hard out in the heat. So we've binned that idea and we're just going to pale it out over that little wall. Only been going about 20 minutes and look already. What are you call Toon? By the cow? So that's going to go in the lake, that is. We want Bachon to eat. We want these to grow big in the lake. It's a bit muddy underfoot. Well and truly got farm feet again, guys. Now, I haven't got particularly hard, hard skin underneath my feet, but there's no way you can do this in footwear unless you've got trainers tied on super tight. If you had wellies on, it'd be straight over the wellies and your feet had pulled out of them. Right, so we've, we've caught a catfish, a small one, and one of those silver fish. But I'm up to about there now. Just want to dig a little bit further. Oh, got one. What is it? Crab. We can't concentrate too much on catching fish yet. We've got to get this water moving. So there's a little high bit there. If I can dig through it, a lot of this water will just pass on down there. Toon just said there's a lot of a lot of shrimp in here, so as the water drops, and now we've, we've hardly started, but the fish on the surface is just thousands of bag of seal, which are the little little silver, like they're, they're like a white bait. Toon's got a, a menu, a dish planned for those little things. Not easy to see, but a lot of fish and trim. Try to get over the side. See a little trim there, fish. Wow, a lot of fish go over. Oh, wow! Wow! Yeah, and tr oh, there go! Oh! Wow! No point to make the wash, just let water out. And you see fish keep coming. And jump out. Let's see a cut in it. Yay! One trim. Wow, they jump everywhere. Yay! Wow! Come and sit here, honey. Now leave me that job. Look, you get them. Woo! Whoa! Good, good fun, Bakasil, yeah. We got dinner. Soon's just spotted what she thinks a mudfish. Or a snake head to you, mate. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's quite sinky here. Yeah, I definitely saw one swim into this bit when we first got here. Just stay still while I get the net. Hopefully it won't move. That, that's it there, isn't it? That could be buduck, you know. Yeah. 
There, it's Bachon. It's coming to you now. Mm, live up to my own. Now you dirtied it all, I can't see, can I? Here's one for you that's not very common round here. It used to be, but they've been really fished out. It is a type of catfish, but they're very soft meat catfish. They're not spiky too, are they? But they've got a, a huge mouth and a huge appetite. Uh, the reason there's not many about, a lot of people use the electric shock method. Can you show the face? Because they're quite a... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can grow for four or five kg. Four or five kg. So this one is destined for the lake. But missus, I ain't got me flip flops. Do you mind throwing it in there? I'm still making my mud wall, aren't I? Look, I'm not finished yet. Good catch, missus. <laughs> Just having a quick dip with the net, getting lots of basil. We've got another and a cow. So it's a bit time consuming running up and down. Right, so that's going in the lake. Another two peas in the pod. Right, let's go and get these in the lake. We've also got a couple of bisoy as well, very small. They'll be going in. It's going well, it's great fun. Number five, bacal, bacal. And what you might not be able to see here are there literally hundreds, several hundreds of baby fish. I'm not on about these. These are bacil. Let me just put this back out in the lake. Beautiful little fish. But they grow nice size. Right in here, there's literally hundreds and hundreds, uh, several hundreds. You almost can't see them. They're just like translucent. And uh, there's a lot of bosoy in there. If you don't know what bosoy is, Thailand, it's great for making, um, what do you say, fermented fish. But Toon's favourite, and my favourite with it, is the salt sour fish. Which sounds minging, but honestly it's really, really good for that. They only need to be about 100, 150 grams. Uh, they're incredibly bony fish, but when you make salt sour fish, uh, the soft bones seem to soften right up and almost disappear uh, and then when you go to eat them eat the meat it just peels away from near the bones nearly no fatality well, i can't see any that are dead so some of them will get eaten by the catfish that are in here but there's not that many and it's a it's a big volume of water so i can see several different species of fish this is how we started off our very very first pond many years ago uh, the one that was famously um, poached but this is all we did we went on the rice paddies uh, after the fish had spawned and we just got landing it after landing it a baby fish put them in and within three months we were catching enough fish to eat nearly every day right let's get back to it this is the life eh? look at that weather oh like a muddy woman look at that hey eh? living the dream guys soon's back off to search for a elusive snakehead while she's there oh just saw one there uh, our little dams and big dam, they're hardening off in the sun. Uh, we can't really get the water to go much further up there until we raise the level here. It's about a foot high on the other side, so it's not too bad. And once that's the clay in there has started to set off, we can build it up a little bit higher and start bucket the water out again. You can see on that side how much we've dropped it, and we've only, we only did throw in water for about 20 minutes, but it is hard going. Throw it on that coconut behind you. She's got a little garami. Good catch you. Although it looks like a huge job, the water is very shallow. It's just that the, the mud, the sand is so soft that you sink in. It's over your knee in nearly every place, but the actual water is only about four or five inches deep. Still keep saying water not deep, but mud is... Yeah. Soaking deep mud. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! Hey. Does another one get out? Big, big lie. Down here. I think that bachon. No, big, a lot bigger than that. Long. I think that bachon come out here. Come here to this corner. Lee. Come to this corner. 
They land to that corner. Chun being watching bow, isn't it? Oh! Right there. This corner. I'm sure that Pachon. Start from far away, come to, to the corner. We're not going to get any dinner. I think that Bamo try to jump out, but it keep fall back down. Right, we're going to swap hunting now because uh, I'm sinking down to be below my knees. It's quite hard moving around and the tune's about. Below your knee or low to under your ass? <laughs> sinking down to my ass. So the tune's going to go in there. Give it a go. Still some nice ones. Well, now the water's starting to drop a bit. Starting to see some nice ones. Just wanted to get a couple more big ones and then I'll throw them in the lake. Yeah, we'll just get them at the end. Big one. A cow or a soy? <laughs> Try get one more, then I'll take them over there. Unless we're going to go ah! back over. Oh, what you got? Big Yay! Oh, yeah. Can I hold up to the camera without Anna, dropping it? Anna, I think it's baby oh, I don't know. It's a super long, skinny one, isn't it? Oh, Oi! Smile for the camera, my dear. Right, I'll go put them in. We're not going to keep any fish until near the end, unless we get Bachon. Because there's just billions, and rather than keep throwing them back, we're going to put them all in the lake. Oh, look what I got on it. <laughs> that is just thick with baby fish and gun. That's like a fish chowder. Nice size bacow in here. I don't know if you can see that with the head camera. Got one there. But there's lots of those basoi. I dare say there's a few dead ones. Because they've been in that bucket for quite a while. See about three tiny ones dead, that's it. It's amazing. A few might die a little bit later, but considering there's about 10 billion in there, that's not bad at all. Right, I'm sure the missus has caught a lot more. All oh, those red ants are nice. You can see how far the water stretches up there, but I hit a load of rock I couldn't carry on digging, which is unfortunate. It's working well. Just got to wait for it to get a little bit dried and make, them, make it a bit higher and get some more water out. Toon's playing mud, mud castles. Wow. Is it still there? Oh God, yeah, there, there, there. Uh, Tamala sleeping. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. Neck to your neck. Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. Good man. Wow. No, 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 good one, no, hurry up, mm, missed, drop it you. More for the lake, look at these, catfish, basoi, pacao, lots. Should let them go early before they're dead, no? Yeah, it's not been in long. It's getting really good now. Now the water's dropping. You can see a lot of the fish with their heads out the water. We just need a little bit more water out, which won't be long now. And then hopefully we can start to get some mudfish. Right. If they are in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be one mudfish down there. Yeah, right? probably. Switching to nogging cam. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see this, guys, but there's a lot of fish on the surface now. So I'm going to try and show you. I was getting a few. Toon's kept the little garamis in there. 
I don't think she's going to be full with that. Right, so you're just looking for a, a head or a pair of lips sticking out the water or the back, like that one there. Let's try and get the net underneath it. Not like that. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And that will grow up to be a busoy to be eaten later on as well. These can grow up to about a kg. They never get given the chance, but ours certainly will. That shelling piece. Oh, that's a bushoy. They're the ones that I was talking about that are good for salt sour fish. I can get hold of it. You get it about four or five times that size. Brilliant fish to eat. So many big ones all over there as well. Look, he shot under the weed. Jumped over my net. Oh, bring me all in there. You want me to go back then? Right, gonna pop these in the lake. I've got quite a few in there, quite lively. Good size, some of them. And uh, I'm gonna nip back to the house. We just remembered that we've uh, left it unlocked. And they're going to bring a cold beer out, I think. It's been hard work. Still quite a bit to do. We won't leave this. We've done too much and uh, the birds will be in here eating everything if we don't finish it. So we've got to, we've got to crack on. I'm shitted up to the eyeballs, but look at that. <laughs> we've got so many good sized fish now. And we've got our first bachon. Only a small one, too small to eat. Well, people can and do eat them, but no, we love this fish. One of the best, if not the best tasting fish in Thailand. So uh, he does eat other fish, uh, but they eat bugs as well. And tadpoles and frogs and things like that. So we're going to put him in there. There's a couple of big ones already in here that have gotten in there on their own. But yeah, put him in and off you go, mate. We'll see you when you're big. Look at all that. Fish after fish after fish now. And we've still not really got the water down as much as we would like. But as the oxygen level starts to drop more and more, the fish then come out. Oh, hang on a minute, he's not looking well. He'll be all right. Come on, mate. Here, Lee. Push the water through the gills, push the oxygen through them, sometimes they pick up. If not, monitor lizard will get you mate, so you better get going. Go on, you can do it. He'll get there. He'll get there. Keep going. Getting stronger. Go on mate, off you go. He'll be fine. Any second now. Lovely to see, look at that. Fish first aid that was. He's happy, just in the current, facing into the current, getting the fresh water that's carrying the oxygen going through the gills, he'll be fine. What a lovely majestic fish. Sound like John Wilson, don't I? God rest his soul. Well, ladies and gentlemen, true to form, <laughs> the missus has caught what she's after. Bachon, which is the snakehead. She calls them mudfish. Big enough to eat, missus? Oh. Eating or lake? Lake, I think. Lake. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think that's the one that I saw this morning when we first come down. 
big enough to eat the okay. tiny one. Right. Wait, put in, put in yep. quickly. They will jump out very easy. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Right, let's go and get him in. I'm shitted up to the eyeballs. I know this isn't everyone's idea of fun, but for me and Toon, well, never ever boring this. Right, let's try and grab that snake head. There he is. Oh boy. Lovely. Excellent. If you're into your lure fishing, guys, a lot of the Thai guys use a, like a, there you go anyway, use a, a plastic frog, imitation frog lure. And uh, they pop it across the surface of the water and snakehead are very, very aggressive when uh, they've got young and when they want to take a bait, they're, they're opportune feeders. Sometimes they're very, very delicate, but um, yeah, to see them hit a lure is, is it's exciting fishing. I'm slipping all over the place, quite dodgy because I've had my beer. It's getting late, it's approaching four o'clock. But the, the catch rate's increasing, cause so we can't stop. Carry on. Any more biggies? That elusive catfish. He's hard to catch, isn't he? Yeah, the net's broken, big time. Be too easy with a proper net, wouldn't it? Excuse my pronunciation, but I got, and they're the Green River catfish. They got barbed fins underneath there. Uh, we've got four and I think we've put another three in. So they're really, really good. Although Toon obviously doesn't eat them. They're an excellent, excellent catfish to eat. And uh, very, very popular. Again, it's another fish that's, I wouldn't say it's impossible to catch in the wild, but bloody impossible to catch a big one in the wild round here. So excellent, oh, oh dear Basoy, sorry. Give that to the uh, monitor lizard. Right, let's get this back in. Brilliant. So many good fish. I know they don't look big to you, but these Thai fish grow so quick. And uh, if there was a Thai person around here, this would all be eaten. If people knew what we were doing now, they would be here tonight, electric shocking. So we've got to get as many fish out of here as we can before we call it a day. So good. Some feet are minging. A lot of the baby fish that we've been putting in, of course they're on the top. Uh, I've just seen some of our tilapia that we put in quite a while ago. They're coming up and having them. Anything that's um, a little bit sluggish and a little bit small. There, there's another one, just took one off the top. They're having them, so waste not, want not. Obviously a few will meet their end within the next 24 hours. But we've, I, it's so hard to guesstimate how many we've put in here, but it's gotta be about five or 10,000 fish. Well, some of them are like dust, you can't even see them hardly, but they're in there now. And yeah, so, so good. We're still going strong. But we have just started talking about, oh, big one there, behind you too, yeah. Uh, calling it a day soon. It's a shame because we can get, get it down a little bit lower, then um, we're sure more of the, the snakehead would come out. But we'll probably come back again here tomorrow. But it's getting late and uh, we'll need to get the goats back in soon and then we've got to feed the poultry as well, so. And, uh, we are minging, totally minging. Uh, good fun. Look at that, covered in mud from head to foot. That's a bit of a twitch that is. Now hopefully tomorrow, that bit down there will drop right down because that was bone dry. And then we can get the last of this out. We might just let this little last little bit back in here. Otherwise if we don't get up at daylight, the birds will have everything. So although we came here to catch our dinner, <laughs> in that respect it's been a terrible fail. 
but uh, it's it's probably been better than we thought. We, we we did think we'd get more mudfish, but I think we're still a bit early, early days for that. And uh, I'm sure we'd get more catfish. There's a lot of meow catfish. What's the Thai word for them? Bag of yang. And uh, you can feel them as you're walking through the mud. You've got very sharp uh, side fins and uh, soon's a bit scratched to buggery. I've got rhino skin, so I'm all right. Just a shame we couldn't push the water further that way, otherwise we'd have had this bone dry and pillaged it totally. Good. This is far better than using electric shock. People come in here, they could electric shock this in about 15 minutes, get everything out, and... Uh, and everything would have been eaten, which, which is nothing wrong with eating what you catch, no problem with that. Um, but all the small stuff, most of the small stuff would be, or a big percentage of the small stuff would be left in here just to rot. Whereas now, there's thousands of fish that have been bailed out over there. They'll dig themselves into the mud. There'll be loads of fish that have uh, buried themselves in here. They will have also laid their eggs. And uh, yeah, every year we we're gonna hopefully get more and more of this. This is still so early. I can't remember when we had it dug tune, about two, three months ago? Three months ago, maybe. This is what it's all about living in the Thai countryside for they me and Toon. If you come to camping, it's what you're hunting and you're eating. Yeah. So anyone that wants to come camping in the future, you'll be catching your own fish. So. If you don't mind helping you uh, set up your barbecue, or uh, helping you drink your beer, but you got to catch what you want to eat. Yeah. No catch, no eat. Is that what we told Eddie, isn't it? That's why he's going to change his chicken stick. Never too old to do this. I'm a grumpy old man now, almost 50. Toons is rapidly approaching her cougar years, and uh, she still enjoys it. Still big kids at heart. We'll never grow up, that's for sure. All right, guys, if uh, you haven't watched some of our hunter gathering before, got some good mushroom videos and that sort of thing, and uh, check them out at the end of this video on the, uh, the end cards on the screen. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ta-da for now. Any? Can you not shower tonight? Just stay all muddy. I'm lick you out. <laughs> lick the mud off you? Yeah. Mid eye. I think they call that faff. <laughs> what fish I look like? Uh, dolphin. Come on, you lot. Come on, then. Come on. We're starving. We only had a beer for lunch. Mm -hmm.